ish on a Sunday, Sunday the 12th. Um, and I am waiting. <laughs> right now, at this moment, I'm waiting for the results of a COVID test. Um, I've not had any close contact or anything. I'm just doing regular testing because I've been in schools. So I think that's a wise thing to do, um, especially as we're getting approaching the holidays. I'm going to be traveling, fingers crossed, on Friday. Um, and yeah, I'm wanting to go into town, but I knew I had to take a COVID test today because it was just my day to do it. Um, and I thought I would take it before I went out because then obviously if there is anything that I've not been traipsing all over town. So, <laughs> I've, um, yes, hello, welcome. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 13. Um, <laughs> well done if you've made it this far. Um, yeah, I, this morning I was just doing like a lot of, um, like household things. I did like a wash. I was pretty proud of myself because I cleaned out my hoover, which is huge. I don't think I've done that in, I mean, well, I can tell you when I've last done it because as I was cleaning out, it cleaning it out, I found pine needles from last year's Christmas tree in the hoover. <laughs> so I'm glad to have done that. Um, and that stuff's all drying. You have to like leave it to dry for like a whole 24 hours before you put it all back together. I've got lots of little pieces and lots of attachments and I cleaned it all. So feeling very satisfied about that. Um, I also dried some oranges, which is becoming a bit of a Christmas tradition for me. I've done it. This is the third year that I've done it. So that's nice. Last year we made them to hang on our tree, but this year we've not got a tree here like because we just we haven't I'm leaving to go home soon and you know so we've not got one for here but I thought I would do like a dried orange garland so I've done those I burnt them a little bit because I forgot about them as I started doing all of these like other tasks it was very like oh I'm doing this I'm doing this I'm doing this like I was making my bed and then I had to hoover my room and then that's what took me to cleaning the hoover <laughs> and I totally forgot about the things in the oven but they didn't burn too much, so I think they're okay, they're salvageable. Um, yeah, and I also, what else did I do this morning? Not that much. Had some breakfast, slept until about eight again, which was nice. Um, yeah, and my plan for now is to go to the knit shop, which I'm excited about, to get some more yarn for my half and half wrap, and also to get some yarn for like a bulky, cowl pattern that I want to make for my flatmate for Christmas, fingers crossed. If I can get the yarn that I need, um, and if it doesn't take too long, because I'd have to finish it by Friday, because <laughs> that's when I'm leaving. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so yes, that's the plan for this afternoon is just to go to the knit shop and get those things and then I have a few other errands that I need to run in town. Um, and then this evening I might go to a carols event. Stay tuned, you'll find out at the end of this video whether I went or not to the Christmas carols, uh, but I think that would be quite nice. Um, someone on our course has like invited us to this uh, carols event this evening. So I might go to that, which would be nice. Um, yeah, it's just kind of a bit of a reset day, really. I'm like slightly itching to get on with my work, but I'm like trying to take this as like another like full rest day, just doing like nice things, not stressing myself out with stuff for uni work. And then Monday, I've got plenty of time to do the stuff that I need to do. So that's the plan. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a quieter day today. That's quite nice. So yeah, I'm gonna... I've actually realised that I've not set a time of my COVID test, so I'm going to figure out how much longer until I can know the results, and then I'm going to head into town, and I will take you with me on that little walk. <laughs> I just realised that I totally forgot something. I knew when I sat down to film, I was like, there's something that I wanted to tell you, but I couldn't remember what it was. And I remembered that I was going to show you through my Phoebe Wall stuff, because I've got a few minutes before my COVID test runs out, and I thought that might be a good time to do it. So... This, oh, sneak peek, this came a few days ago. I ordered it quite a while ago, but I think they had some real like weather issues in Portland, question mark, where it's from. 
Uh, so, which was, there was like loads of flooding and stuff, which meant that it was delayed, which was like, totally fine. But yes, I was very excited when it did come. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd just show you the things that I've got because they're nice and pretty to look at and you might want to look at some nice, pretty things. <laughs> so the first thing that I got and the kind of reason that I did the order was because I wanted to get one of Phoebe Wall's calendars. Uh, so this is the Little Witch Hazel calendar, which is her latest book. And it's got lovely illustrations. Those are all the different ones that are for the different months. I have not really looked through it um, because I don't want to know. I want it to be a surprise every month. So I've, I've been hanging this up. Uh, so that I can enjoy kind of the front cover for the month of December and then I'll flip it over to January. But it's January because that's how calendars work. Um, but while I was ordering that I also got a few other things. So this is on the top because I don't know what I'm doing with this box. Uh, because I was trying to find a frame for it yesterday on my charity shop jaunt. Um, I did not successfully find a frame for it, so it's going to stay in its little protective casing until I do. But, which is a shame because I got a winter print. I suppose, you know what, it will still be winter in January and February, so... I got this print, which I think is just called, like, Snow Day or something. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful. Um, and, yeah, I've not actually really looked at it properly, so it's quite nice to look at it. Um, I wanted one of the kind of older designs because um, she's got a lot of like new prints out which are great but I wanted something that reminded me of her art when I like first started following her and so that was why I picked that one. Um, and then I also got another calendar which I'm going to have to like, it came rolled up which is fine but it had been clearly rolled up for quite a long time so it's quite a uh, Rolly. I'm gonna need to hang it under some books or something to straighten it out, but it's a lunar calendar uh, for 2022. I've never had a lunar calendar before, uh, although the calendar that I had, the wall calendar that I had for this year, did have the moons on it, and I really enjoyed seeing that, so I'm gonna enjoy also seeing that again. But I need to deal with it and squish it out under some books or something. Um, and then the last few things that I got were some little stickers that are also Witch Hazel, which I'm very... That one's upside down. <laughs> uh, which I just think are really, really gorgeous. So nice. I like, they're almost, you know when stickers are so nice that you like don't want to stick them on anything? I wanted to put one on my water bottle because I've started putting stickers on my water bottle but I can't decide which one so I'm going to just leave those for a little while and while I think about it. Um, and then I also got a copy of Sonia's Chickens which is Phoebe's first book which I've not read um, and I picked this one because it was the only one that they had, the only book of hers that was still in the shop that had signed copies. So I got this one to get a signed copy and I'm very looking forward to reading that because I've really enjoyed. I have The Blue House and Little Witch Hazel and I've really liked both of those. So I'm excited to read this. And then I also got a little wee stack of cards which has actually a Little Witch Hazel sticker on the thing. So I wonder if I can save that. Uh, by peeling it off really gently. There we go. Oh. Maybe that's the one that I'll put on my water bottle. <laughs> um, and I got these partly to use as cards, but also partly because they were like little prints and I thought I could frame them. Um, so I have this one, which again is like one of her older uh, pieces of artwork so I thought that was nice and then I got the snow day which I also got the print of uh, this one with like apple picking um, this one with I guess I presumed that it was some gay dads but it also could just be two 
two different dads with their different kids hanging out and getting a Christmas tree together. I thought that was beautiful. Um, I've got this one which says, you are loved. And this one which says, I love you just as you are. <laughs> I thought these would be really nice little like, if a friend needed a pick me up sort of cards to just have on hand. Um, and this one as well says, I like you. I thought that would be nice um, for someone that I like to tell them that I like them <laughs> uh, via the medium of a card. So, and then this is like a Thanksgiving one. Is it Thanksgiving? Some sort of nice family dinner. Um, this was the one that I thought about getting as a big print, but didn't. Um, and then this one as well, which I also thought about getting as a big print. Uh, but then chose the snow date in the end. So, and those are all lovely and they're such nice quality. Um, yeah, so I'm really happy with this. I'm really happy with this purchase. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd show you because I think they're really, really lovely. And if you live in America, it's much easier for you to get your hands on these sorts of things. So you could maybe, <laughs> maybe order, not such a big order. Uh, and it would still be worth your while to do so. So I, yeah, probably will not be making another order for a while until, I mean, I don't know, but I thought, yeah, that's it. That's all I wanted to show you. Um, I am, oh, well-timed. I'm eight seconds away from getting my COVID results. So I'm gonna get those and go to the yarn shop and see you later. For those interested, I managed to salvage the Little Witch Hazel sticker from the uh, little brown bag that all my cards were in and put it on my water bottle with, that's an, an M to the third sticker. It's another M to the third sticker. And then this one uh, is from Black Lodge Press. So I'm collecting a little sticker collection on my water bottle, which is good fun. So yeah. Got a negative COVID test. So I am good to head out to the shops. It doesn't look that cold out there today. So I'm not wrapped up hugely warm, but I do have a little scarf on and a long coat. And, ooh, <laughs> uh, yeah, and I'm free to go, which is good. I was feeling a bit coldy fluey uh, just this evening. This evening, last night, I was, you know, quite snotty, <laughs> bit of an overshare, uh, but so I'm glad to have had a negative. So that is good. And I'm gonna go to the yarn shop and I probably won't film in the yarn shop, but I will definitely show you what I get after I've got it. whoops totally forgot that the knit shop is shut on Sundays I always forget I always think that it's closed Monday and Tuesday but it's closed Sunday and Monday so no joy there I'm a little bummed to be honest I was really looking forward to getting those bits and starting that project so I've come back home <laughs> I'm gonna make myself and I'm feeling sorry for myself a cup of tea and maybe have some biscuits and work on the projects that I do have and maybe watch something nice so not much different from yesterday but uh no yarn haul today it's not happening uh I will go on Tuesday when uh, the shop opens again so I've just joined in the round for my not in the round but I've joined all the body pieces together for my Sarah cardigan and the rest of the pattern is so complicated that I've made this chart and all of these pens and highlighters to 
indicate what it is that I'm supposed to do for each section. It's not like that complicated, you just have to do like a lot of different things at once and they include a chart for you to kind of fill in to write um, when you're supposed to do all those different things for whatever side you're working on um, but I don't really have a functioning printer so I've just made my own chart <laughs> uh, and I'm hoping that it works and that it all works out correctly. It looks like a really, really nice cardigan, so I'm like looking forward to it and to wearing it. But this is definitely a more complicated knit than I would usually go for.